What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are very proud to announce that we've released the Lake Hickory Scuba Ultimate Diving Mirror. And if you couldn't tell from the teaser clip, we're going to be showing you several different mirrors in this video, but we're going to show you all the flaws in those mirrors and why we developed this particular one and why we truly consider it the Ultimate Diving Mirror. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. So in development of the Ultimate Diving Mirror, we took out several other diving mirrors that you can purchase on the market today, and we took them out and we test of them. And there were a lot of pros to them, but there were also a lot of cons to those mirrors as well. And so what we did was took all of those pros and put them together in what we consider the Ultimate Diving Mirror. Now there are two different versions that you can get. This is called the Lake Hickory Scuba Ultimate Diving Mirror. And then of course you can get the Ultimate Diving Mirror Deluxe Model. Deluxe Model simply means it comes with a spare mirror, which we're going to cover later Later on in this video as well. But before we jump into all the different features of this particular mirror, let's look at some of the previous models that we've tested and show you some of the cons that we actually didn't like about them and why we decided to develop our own diving mirror. So the first mirror that we're going to look at, of course, is just a cheap Amazon mirror. You can pick these up relatively inexpensive on Amazon, and there are some pros to it. One of the pros that we did like, the mirror itself is protected. That means nothing's going to get on the lens till you need it, and then you simply just pop up the mirror whenever you need to look, and of course, you can rotate it. So another neat feature, not only is the lens protected, you can also rotate it to get the exact angle that you need. However, there are some cons to it. One, it's a very, very small view window, and you're not going to get to be able to see if especially if you're leading or guiding dives which most dive professionals do you're not going to be able to see that wide field of vision that you need to uh, keep track of all your divers the other problem with it of course was the strap system the strap system is a very very cheap inexpensive velcro that as soon as it gets wet the hook and loop feature actually breaks free so we had to determine a different way to attach this and in all honesty i took the strap out and ended up adding bungees to this system to make it a little bit better, but I still didn't like the view window. But the pros from this was it protected the lens itself and it was adjustable so I could see different angles. Whether I was solo diving, I needed to check my equipment, or let's say that I was leading a group of divers, I could check the divers to the right of me, I could check the divers to the left of me, and of course I could close it to protect the lens again whenever I didn't need it. But that was the first mirror that we actually tested. The second mirror that we actually tested is a higher-end model. Now, you can pick these up on, uh, say, Etsy or a couple other online retail stores. Um, and the great thing about this was it was very well constructed. Um, it's a very hard polymer plastic. Yes, it's 3D printed. Um, the mirror itself, once again, is protected. As you can see, the mirror is not completely flush with the surface, so it's protected. Nothing's going to land on it or break the mirror. And if you did happen to damage it, maybe you had a pinpoint point fracture or something, you can simply take the top of it off and of course replace the mirror, put the top back on. And of course it does have the bungee straps, which we really thoroughly enjoy. Uh, but once again, the downside to this mirror is it's very, very small and you're not going to have that view window that you need. You're going to actually have to turn it multiple times underwater to see every angle that you need to see. So if you needed it at a different angle, you could even have to take it off and maybe move it around this way. You didn't necessarily have to leave it on, but it's not the wide view angle that we wanted. So although this one had several pros and the pros that we like, it didn't necessarily 
meet our specs to what we needed it. So the third mirror that we tested, of course, is another Amazon mirror, and this was not actually designed for scuba. This was designed for uh, motorcyclists, and of course, they could wear it as a spare uh, rear view mirror, if you will. Not only they got the rear views here, but it's also a spare for them. Uh, bicyclists use this. Sometimes uh, skiers will use this, things like that. Um, and we really, really enjoyed this mirror. The fact that it's wide, you can see a wide range uh, around you. You can actually wear it in two different orientations. Even though it's only got one strap, you can wear it in this orientation, or you could change the orientation, which we liked as well if you were just solo diving and just needed to look at your gear. Um, and of course, it worked for us. You could wear it above your hand, below your hand. We really liked it. But so what are the cons if we really like this mirror? Well, for one, the strap. We went back to a hook and loop uh, structure and although this is a lot better strap than what was on the first mirror that we looked at, the downside is how it's riveted to the mirror. So it doesn't take much. You can literally just pop this off and it doesn't take much force at all. So if you was to get this snagged on something, you're going to basically lose your mirror. Um, the other downside to it is the mirror itself is not protected. Since it's con, um, kind of convex there or concave, whatever you want to call it, it it can get scratched very easily and then of course you're you're out the mirror if you scratch it up too bad or you wear the coating off so what we decided to do was to take these three different types of mirrors put them together and create what we consider the ultimate diving mirror And so here it is, guys. This is the Lake Hickory Scuba Ultimate Diving Mirror. I'm going to run through all the features for you and why we consider this the Ultimate Diving Mirror. I'm going to show you the difference between the standard and the deluxe model. And once again, the deluxe model is just a spare mirror that comes with it. And then I'm going to talk about towards the end of the video how you can purchase this for yourself because it does come in several different colors. Now, starting out, this is a hard polymer plastic. This is just a 3D printed uh, system here, and it kind of mimics this system here. So imagine if we took these two mirrors, one with the uh, replaceable mirror with the uh, 3D print on it and the bungee, but yet we added the larger style mirror to it, that's basically what you're going to get here. And it is not perfectly flush up top, so it is going to protect your mirror, but if you do have some type of pin uh, pinpoint fracture or something, you can take the top off, put the, a new mirror in, put the top back on, and right back you're going. As far as strap, we chose to go with a four millimeter bungee that is adjustable. And so once, you're, once you've got it to where you want to wear it, you can of course just pull on the bungee and it tightens it down where you need it. So it's kind of self-adjusting. It is self-adjusting underwater as well, or what's called a depth compensating adjustment there. So if your wetsuit compresses at depth, this will compress on your arm as well to stay tight. As your suit expands, as you come back up, it will expand back out so it's not too uncomfortable. And you can actually wear it in several different configurations. This is what I call the landscape mode here. As you can see, it's kind of a landscape, if you will, kind of what's on a computer. And then of course you can pull it out and wear it this way and be in a vertical configuration too, which you can wear if you are choosing to wear it for solo diving and things like that. Once again, it does have the replaceable mirror here. It does have the replaceable bungees. You can add whatever bungees you want on it. We did choose to go with the four millimeter bungees because it gives the right amount of resistance that when you pull to tighten it up, it's gonna stay in place and you don't have to tie multiple knots for that adjustment as well. And then, of course, probably the coolest feature of this mirror that we really like about this is the safety aspect. You see, with all these other mirrors, they're really just about looking out at other divers or looking at your equipment, things like that. Um, but they don't really provide any safety feature outside of that. And that's what we wanted our mirror to do. We wanted it to be set aside from all other mirrors. And so what we did is we added a little hole in the center. And if we take a close look, you will notice not only is it a mirror, but with that little hole that extends all the way through the back, it is also a signal mirror. Now, we tested this while we were down in Mexico here a few weeks ago, and it actually worked out very well. So at the end of each dive, we'd pop up to the surface, and we would signal over to the boat, and they would give us an okay that they saw it. So not only is this a mirror that's going to help you, say, as a solo diver, as an instructor, as a dive master, or something of that sort, it's also going to be a great safety feature for you as well. So who is this mirror going to really benefit well it's going to benefit solo divers 
dive instructors, technical divers, cave divers, side mount divers, anybody that needs to look at their gear while they're diving underwater, maybe check the trim of their tank, something like that. It can also work good for professionals who are leading dives and guiding dives or just that buddy team. Maybe it's a, a parent and a child who are diving together and the child's lagging behind. The parent can constantly be keeping track by looking simply in the mirror at their child or keeping track of your buddy in general. So this mirror is going to benefit you no matter what your experience level is, no matter who you are in this dive industry. It's a great all-around mirror. What we've done is took three different technologies, put them together into what Lake Hickory Scuba is calling the ultimate diving mirror or the ultimate diving mirror deluxe with the spare lens as well. So now just for a quick wrap up, we really believe this is the ultimate diving mirror. We believe it's gonna work for all divers out there uh, and it's gonna give you plenty of options. Right now we've currently got six different color schemes that this guy's coming in um, and we are developing new colors for it every single day. So you can use it to match whatever color scheme your suit is or whatever color scheme your BCD is. Um, and so far we have sold two solid lots of these once we had them produced. And of course it's very difficult to keep them in stock just because people are buying them up. As I stated earlier, we did take these down to Mexico. We let a ton of people try them down there. We even gave them away to the local dive masters instructors there to let them use in the future and to get their reviews on them as well. And we didn't get any complaints whatsoever. We've had recreational divers use them, technical divers and professional and non-professional divers. And they all told us the same thing. It's going to be a benefit to their diving, whether they are a solo diver and they're needing to keep track of their gear, whether they're recreational and they're keeping track of their buddy, or they're even professional divers and they're keeping track of a group of divers these mirrors are an absolute must for you if you are interested in your own mirror check out the link below it's going to take you straight to our online store there's going to be a couple of different options there first option is what color do you want and second option do you want the deluxe model or the non-deluxe remember the deluxe model simply comes with a spare mirror that's very easy to replace it's user friendly you don't have to send it back to us but we really believe that this ultimate diving mirror is going to be a great asset to you while diving. Guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. This has been several months in the making for us. We've been working on this for quite a while. And let me know in the comments down below, do you think this will be helpful for you as a diver? And are there any features that we actually left off that maybe we can add in the future that might be helpful to you as well? But guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely leave me a comment down below on your thoughts. And once again, if you're interested, check the link out down below. You can purchase your own Lake Kicker Scuba ultimate diving mirror for yourself. Guys, that's going to do it for today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.